In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Power, Product, and Quotient Rules with negative exponents. We're asked to simplify here and to write our answer with only positive exponents. And I'll start by noticing that we have two parentheses here being multiplied, and the second one has a negative exponent. So one simplification that I can make is since the first parentheses has a positive exponent, I can leave that v cubed w in the numerator and move the second parentheses negative 2 u2 v w3 I can move that to the denominator and make that power on the outside a positive 3. So that's our first simplification and it's worth noting that we could do these simplifications in different orders but we would still end up at the same simplified expression. From here, I'll evaluate the fact that the denominator is being cubed. Every part of the denominator is being cubed. So here, our numerator isn't changing. Still v3 and a w. But in the denominator, the negative 2 is being cubed. So I can go ahead and evaluate that. That would be negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Or a negative 8. The u squared, when we have a power on the inside and a power on the outside, we keep that base, u, and we multiply the powers. 2 times 3 is 6. Our v is a v1. And again, multiplying the powers inside and the powers outside, 1 times 3 is 3. And our w3, the power inside times the power outside, becomes a w9. So we've taken one more step towards simplifying. And I can continue here by noticing that I have some of the same variables in the numerator and the denominator. For example, my v3, I also have another v3 in the denominator. So in simplifying, I could either think of that as a v to the 3 minus 3, which is a v0, or 1, or just think of this as canceling three v's canceling three v's. Looking at the w's, I have a w1 in the numerator and a w9 in the denominator. I can simplify by keeping that base, w, in the denominator and subtracting the exponents. 1 minus 9 would be a negative 8. The other pieces, the negative 8 is just a coefficient and the u6 has a positive exponent, so there's no need to move. Lastly, I'm asked to write the solution with only positive exponents. So I need to move this w to the negative 8 down to the denominator, which already has a negative 8, u6. The w negative 8 would come down as a w positive 8. And since I've moved everything, I know that I always have that 1 factor that's remaining. And notice that this negative 8 is not a negative exponent. So we can leave negative numbers. We've simplified as much as possible with no negative exponents. So this is our simplified expression.